in the 2020 or 2021 Tokyo Olympics, a Philippines athlete have clinched the gold medal uh, for weightlifting. Let's look at her as she snatches, I think this is 94 kilos, 97 kilos. Okay. So you can see in one swift motion, she raised the bar from the ground to above her heads. She is doing work. Look at her. And she stands up. All her muscles are contracting and increasing a certain energy of the bar. And you can see as she repeats the process with higher and higher mass, larger and larger mass, your body is very powerful. She is lifting, snatching. This is called a snatch, heavier than her body weight. And she got the gold medal in the Olympics. Okay. But what is interesting about uh, Heidi Lin's story is she, during the lockdown, like many of you who are actually learning your A-levels now, she trained in Malacca. That's why I tumpang a bit lah because I'm Malaysian and I'm very happy for her results. But if you go through her, her Facebook, sorry, her Instagram page, you will notice that some of her training are done at home using water bottles and also occasionally using luggage and bags and also using resistant bands. So if we think about the energy conversion happening in this exercise, all right, she uses the stretching of the elastic band. There is an elastic potential energy. And she's also lifting weights to fight gravity. So there's also gravitational potential energy. So she exercises this way during the lockdown. So oftentimes during lockdown, we try our best. And if you're watching this video and you're learning your A-levels, before I jump on to the notes to talk about increasing your gravitational potential energy, we do what we can in difficult times. So let's go to the notes. Part of weightlifting or doing anything under the influence of gravity is that we get to be stronger because we are carrying heavy things under a gravitational field. Okay, And we would like to coin that thing as gravitational potential energy, which is work done on or by gravity near the Earth's surface. Okay, So let's say, for example, I lift uh, my water bottle up and I, I'm storing gravitational potential energy in my water bottle. And if I let it go and the water bottle falls, that is gravity claiming back the energy that was stored inside the water bottle. So let me try to draw it. So I'm not, obviously, can't draw. I'm not Miss Ellie, can't draw. But... I can talk about, let's say this is the Earth's surface, okay? And then maybe you have a certain mass M. It can be 92 kilos, can be 1 kg, doesn't matter, okay? We can move the mass up and down. But to make our understanding a bit easier, let's say it's work done by gravitational force near to the Earth's surface. This is actually your change in gravitational energy. So if you think about the ideas of work done in the various case study, it's always somebody doing work to create or to store, not create, sorry, to store energy. No create, you cannot create energy. Somebody doing work for energy conversion. That's why the emphasis here is work done. Either the gravitational force is doing the work or some external force is doing the work. So example, if let's say I'm talking about mass lifted, maybe from this position, to this position. If I go from here to here, basically if I'm lifting, mm. like weight lifting, this one is increasing my uh, energy. Okay, this is called gravitational potential energy. So I will uh, define gravitational potential energy for us right now. Gravitational PE potential energy is the uh, work done on or by the gravitational field or the gravitational force due to the motion of a mass inside it, inside the gravitational field. So as long as we exist in gravity, we need to navigate with the idea of gravitational potential energy. Okay, let me show you what I mean by work done on versus work done by. Looking back at this situation where you lift up a mass M and increasing the GPE, whenever you increase the energy of something, 
this is work done by the external force. You need an external force on the gravitational field. Okay, so we basically need an external force to pull it this way. And I need to make sure that this external force is just nice and equal to the weight of the object, mg. Why do we need external force to be equal to mg? Because I want to make sure the only increase in energy is gp. Okay. Only increase in energy is GPE. I didn't increase the KE. If my external force is bigger than my MG, based on your Newton's second law, you know this object will move faster and faster. Oh, we don't want that yet, not yet, not yet. So if you look at Hedlin moving up the uh, Olympic bar, she actually accelerates the bar upwards because she needs that momentum to push the heavy bar up. But we will do no such thing. <laughs> we will keep the external force and the MG constant. So it's basically just lifting my water bottle up at constant speed. Okay, so we need external force to be equal to mg. So only increase in energy is GPE. Or basically, the mass m travels at constant v. So there's no change in kinetic energy. So I could say something along the lines of work done uh, by the external force actually increases increase in the gravitational potential energy. Okay, it converts energy. Work done by external force, let's say it's lift you, human body lifting something, then that work done is from the chemical energy stored in your cell, your ATP. Whenever you do respiration, you convert energy from the food that you digest into usable energy in your muscle cell, in your tissues. So there's something doing work. We cannot create energy. We are not magicians. The energy that you have, the energy that you store in your body came from the food that you digested maybe recently. Okay. So please understand that whenever you do an exercise, or if I lift the water bottle up and down a few times, okay, this is because I'm using my dinner to you know, move the water bottle, seeing that now it's almost midnight. So my dinner, I guess. All right. So the work done by my hand actually increases the gravitational potential energy of the object. I didn't create energy. I used the energy in my muscles to lift the book, to lift the object. So this work done by external force will always use Fs. Remember? So this is change in GPE. But if we look at this F, this is your external force. And where is your S, my dudes? We increase the height, right? So here to here is your S. But we like to call this H because it's increase in height. Ma. Okay? So this is F and maybe instead of S, I'll call this delta H. Change in height from the uh, final position, I mean from the initial position to the final position. So this will be change in height. This is equal to your change in GPE. But also external force is equal to mg. So that the only energy that is increasing is GPE. So I can put this one inside and I end up with change in GPE is equal to mg change in height. Familiar equation? Seen it before? All the energy equations that you have all must come from the definition of work done. Because we need work done to convert energy. All right? So that's the idea that I want you to keep it in your brain whenever you look at energy conversion. Something is doing work. In this case, it's the external force. Okay? But teacher, can the reverse happen? Let's say I have a block M right now at a certain height. And then I will drop it to the ground. Okay? So I'm going to just put this one to the ground. Surface of the earth. Okay? And I let go. Okay? If I let go of the mass, the mass has to accelerate, right? So when I let go of mass, mass accelerates, okay, this one will travel downwards. Okay, where is the direction of force? Force is here. This is mg. 
So in this case, because you're talking about decreasing GPE, So this is work done by gravitational field. Gravity do the work to accelerate the object down. Okay, that's the working idea. If you want to increase the energy, you got to do external work. But once you push it up, gravity is very happy to bring it down. But in this case, right, what is probably going to happen is the decrease in, or rather the change in GPE will be equal to the change in kinetic energy. Okay? So because in this case, we assume no friction. Okay, yeah? So a big fat asterisk here. Assume friction negligible. All right? So then all the decrease in GPE will convert to Ke, or there is work done. So basically, if you are wondering, this energy conversion change in GPE is change in KE. We are talking about the work done by gravitational force. Not external force, it's the reverse of this one. This is work done by external force. This one is work done by gravitational force. Let me move this. Force, mg. Okay. So there's always somebody doing the work, okay? Either an external force is increasing the GPE, or if you release and there's a conversion of energy happening. So both cases also got conversion of energy. In this case, let's say you lift up the bar, you celebrate your gold medal, then you hold forever, man. No, you're going to let go. When you let go of that heavy barbell, the barbell will accelerate towards the ground. So the gravitational potential energy will convert to kinetic energy. But I let go of the bar already. So the energy doesn't come from me. It came from gravity and work done by this gravitational force Mg. This is the force that is doing the work. Okay? Whereas um, if we are talking about work done by external force, I lifting up the weight, that means chemical energy converts to GPE, assuming that the speed is constant. All right? To simplify the scenario. So the idea of conservation of energy are such. Number one, Energy cannot be created or destroyed. Number two, changes in some energy must be the same must be the same in the changes in other energy. And for this to happen, we need somebody, some force to do work. All right. Okay, that's it for this uh, short and sweet video. We'll talk more about energy conversion in the next examples. But please understand, for energy conversion to happen. We need an increase in a certain amount of energy and a decrease in the other amount of energy. And number two, there has to be a force to initiate or to carry out the changes in energy. And that force will cause work done. All roads lead from W equal to Fs. All right, I'll see you in the example videos. Bye. Go practice, lift some weights, get stronger. Mentally as well, lift some past year question weights.